Dear Washington, there is so much to say in so little time. My experience here remains infinitely complicated, intertwined with the nuance of many different emotions, hopes, disappointments, lessons, beginnings, and endings. My passions led me to volleyball, but my path led me to Washington. When I arrived, I found that Washington was about much more than being an athlete. Over these last four years, I have come to understand the depth and richness of being a student athlete at this world-class university. These lessons have taught me the meaning of life, revealed the kind of person I want to become, and the things I value. These lessons are some I learned in the hardest moments of my life. When COVID moved through our city like a plague, when the smoke from the wildfires set off the alarm in our arena, when the tsunami of grief I felt after the murder of George Floyd decimated me, when I saw the bone snap in my finger at Arizona, there were times when I felt stripped down here, raw, challenged beyond belief. And yet, at each of these moments, someone was there to lead me deeper, further into the place where love is running wild with reckless abandon. With each challenge, I found people. I now call these people family. They were there to let me rest my head on their shoulders, offer me a hand, and heal me. The people have made me feel loved and supported in ways that will always touch my heart. This forged a deep connection between my spirit and this place. The people here helped me find purpose, not just in being an athlete, but in the person I am beyond that title. I found purpose and connection. I found meaning in community. My peers at BSA, my teammates, friends on campus, professors, people like Sheridan Blanford and Matt Bannerman, and countless others who have gifted me with love, courage, and the power to find my own set of values. When I reflect on the person I want to become, I look to the people around me. When I look around, I see people who are passionate about well-being. I see authenticity, vulnerability, freedom, wonder, courage. I see love. So thank you. Thank you to the people, for those who showed me how to love and how to be courageous. You remove limitations from our imagination. You show us every day that you can become who you want to be. Thank you to the land for showing me the beauty of the earth and how to change with the seasons. Now, as I prepare to leave this place I have come to call home, I challenge myself to leap forward with courage. Washington has prepared me for the world that lies beyond this one. With love, gratitude, and hope, Sophie Summers.